guys, I play balloons a lot. And since I've played balloons so much, I know what every round is going to be because rounds one to round 100 is always the same. We know exactly what's going to be coming at us every single time we play balloons. It's always going to be the exact same balloons. And that's why in today's video, all rounds and balloons TD6 are going to be randomized. If you're watching this, there's a 60% chance that you're not subscribed to the channel, according to YouTube's analytics. What I'm trying to do is hit 900,000 subscribers by the end of the year, and I know we can do it. If everyone watching this video right now who wasn't subscribed, subscribed and hit the notification bell, I'd hit a million subscribers in a single day. Consider hitting the subscribe button, notification bell, because we release videos every single day on brand new mods and awesome content content just for you guys so thank you so much for watching and i hope you enjoy the rest of the video all right guys let's do this i'm a little bit nervous because if they're completely randomized i feel like it's gonna be bad news bears for me right like if it's com if it's literally completely randomized what's to say that i'm not gonna go up against like something super crazy like round one i have to go up against like a bad or something right i say we start with this this free monkey and let's just hit play and regen balloons okay 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 We'll upgrade to this guy, and then we'll get this guy again. Oh my gosh! How in the world? Oh my gosh! Camo balloons! Oh my goodness, we're gonna lose round one, aren't we? We lost round one. Holy cow, that's really rough, guys. Guys, I'm quickly coming to the realization that having randomized rounds is actually quite a bad thing. But either way, I, I still think we can pull this off. As long as we don't get... I think we just need a little bit of help in the beginning. And as long as we don't have to go up against anything super duper crazy, I think we're going to be okay. And I think having the ninja is really important. Just having to deal with like camo, camo balloons and other like er all other types of like weird, annoying things. But he's actually able to deal with this pretty well so far. So hopefully we don't have to deal with anything too ridiculous in the beginning here. So let's go ahead and we can get double shot. We're actually holding our own now against these randomized rounds. All right, guys, I've come to the decision that no matter what comes past here, I'm going to beat at least to round 60, okay? I'm going to stick with it, and I'm going to retry over and over and over until it's possible, guys. Whether or not, whatever I have to do to make it work, we're going to beat round 1 to 60, guys. All right, let's do this. I believe let's upgrade this guy, and then let's also go ahead and get the ninja for the camo detection. Let's do this, guys. Okay. So far, it's very manageable. So far, we're doing okay. Rainbow balloons, not great, but it's a little bit. It's okay so far. It's it's a, It hurts a little bit, but it's not the end of the world. Let's get double shot. Okay, there we go. So far, we got some regen balloons. See, here's some camo rainbow, but we were able to deal with that. Okay, holy cow, holy cow, holy cow, holy cow. I need... I need a button. Okay, we're definitely gonna lose. We're definitely gonna lose. That is a super devastating rush. But we're continuing, guys. We're not giving up. Okay. I need frag bombs. We need I need to get recursive cluster, guys. I'm going to <clears throat> Um Okay guys. <sighs> okay, cluster bombs. Okay, get recursive cluster. Recursive cluster should be enough. Recursive cluster is not enough. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, okay. We can do this. He's popped 4,000 balloons. We need, we need everything we can get to be able to deal with this guy. Let's also get ourselves a uh, an alchemist because this way we can do uh, berserker brew and then we can't get stronger stimulant. But he's gonna be able to help us deal with all of these balloons. Oh, because oh, 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 are we gonna be able to deal with that? No, we're so close though. We okay, okay, stronger stimulant, and now we now we need one more. Or do we get like a dartling gunner and get the ability that the dartling gunner has? How much ex how much money does that cost? Hydro rocket pods. That's four thousand. That's really expensive. But we might be able to make this work. So let's get this guy. And then let's do focus firing, laser shock, advanced targeting, hydro rockets. Okay, and now we're going to lock this guy right here. And he's just going to fire right down that. And there we go. We did it, guys. Okay, that's a ZOMG. That's a fortified ZOMG. 
Okay, Rocket Storm. Oh my gosh. Holy cow, guys. This is not going to be easy. Full Metal Jacket, Large Caliber, Deadly Precision, Fast Firing, Even Faster Firing. Okay. We're so far. Okay. Come on. Come on. We're kind of popping them. We're, we're, we're kind of popping them. Come on. This is round four. As soon as these break. Okay. There we go. We can use this ability to stun the balloons. All right. Come on. Don't let anything by. Come on. Holy cow. We might do this. How in the world are we dealing with this? Okay. Oh my gosh. We actually were able to deal with two fortified ZOMGs on round four with this setup. Let's go. Okay, let's get May Moab because May Moab is going to be very, very, very crucial to this setup. What got the most amount of pops? Let's get Balloon Jitsu. Okay, let's, uh, all right, come on. Oh my gosh. Why are we getting so, look at this. We already have $43,000. We're making so much money. It's just because all of these guys are popping so many balloons. I want to get, we need like the mad. Honestly, if we can get like the mad, oh my gosh, we're going to be able to just absolutely clean house. The fact that we were able to beat that guy is absolutely is like crazy to me. $65,000 to get the MAD, which I think is probably going to be worth it just because of its ability to pop like all of the annoying things. Like, look at this. Okay. Yeah. Now let's get the mad. And now this, this guy is just going to shred Moab class balloons. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Are we going to be able to deal with this? Come on. Okay, we dealt with it. We dealt with it. All right, now we have $78,000 again. Where is all of this money coming from? It's just because of how, like, strong we are now. It's just how many balloons we're popping. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's put down... We're going to put this guy down right here. And then we're going to go... We're going to do the buckshot, balloon area denial system, balloon exclusion zone, target dependent... And then focus firing laser shock. There we go, guys. I was I was very shocked we were able to beat anything. Now that like the rounds are picking up and that are like they're super crazy, this is really fun. So some rounds are gonna be just much, much easier than other rounds. I want to see like what shows up, guys. So so far just Moabs. There's some of these guys. So far nothing too crazy though. And then if we need to, I can always just push this button and then have it like unlock. But I want to be able to. Oh, yeah, this guy's also kind of just, like, shredding Moabs and stuff. Yeah, so it looks like it's a couple of ZOMGs. At round 24, we have to deal with this many ZOMGs. But the thing is, since we survived in the beginning rounds, like those rushes, it gave us so much money that we're able to kind of do whatever we want. Like, we have over $100,000 now. It almost feels like we have a money hack on because we have so much money right now. But it's just because, like, one, we're playing on medium instead of hard. And two, here, do we want hard thorns? And then let's get this. There we go. This is always really nice to have. Look at this guy. He's got 18,000 pops here. Let's sell this guy too. That way, I want to just see all the balloons that show up, guys. Like, that's, that's what I really want to see. Here, we can go ahead and we're going to put this guy here. And we're going to give this guy his own, his own little village. His own, yeah. And then what we can go ahead and get ourselves faster production. And then we're going to go and get perma spikes. That way we have, oh my goodness, that, look at this, round 27. There we go. These balloons aren't going anywhere. Why do we have a hundred, almost $200,000? Where is all this money coming from? This guy's got a hundred thousand pops, 70,000, I guess, but that just doesn't make, why do we have so many pops and so much money? This is crazy to me, guys, that we're making this much money. It truly feels like we have some kind of money hack on. Let's put a Legend of the Night down here. There we go. And then we can just go ahead and we can almost get a fully upgraded Legend of the Night. This guy alone is popping everything. That's because here. All right, we're selling this guy because I want to be able to really see everything. Like, I want to see the rounds that show up. So, so far, we've had to deal with the Moabs, ZoMGs. Now that I think about it, guys, it's probably a good thing that, that the, you know, the rounds are not randomized. Because the fact that the rounds are, you know, it allows it to have a much more uh, set setting or pacing. Because this is wild, guys. This is, if I didn't use, I used three cash drops. If I didn't use those three cash drops, this would be impossible. Actually, okay, maybe not impossible, 
and very, very improbable is definitely the word that I would like to use. I wonder if the rounds are truly randomized or if it's picking rounds from certain other rounds, if that makes sense. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure these are actually randomized what gets sent. Oh my gosh, a fortified, two fortified BFBs. Oh my gosh, a bunch of DDTs at round 40. Guys, normally this is when one Moab shows up. This is not just one Moab. This is an army of Moabs, guys. Depleted Plutonium missiles. Plutonium missiles. So, shoots depleted missiles instead of darts. Guys, how much do you think, like, that costs? Like, that's a... That's, like, almost like a nuclear warhead, right? Or something along the lines. Like, a million dollars a rocket, right? Okay, maybe not. That's probably a little bit extreme. A hundred thousand dollars a rocket? Every single rocket he shoots costs a hundred thousand dollars. And I'm just having him purposely miss because I don't want to... I want to be able to see the balloons. I want to see... At the end of round 60, how many pops we had, how many, like, Moabs and BFBs and stuff there were, how much money we spent. Like, I'd love to see the statistics at the end of this. I think that's what's going to make it very interesting. Here, guys, let's, uh, let's, let's finally set, let's set everything back up. Here we go. Normal, target dependent. Let's just destroy everything now. There's no way anything can ever get by. Since balloons scale in difficulty, the longer the rounds go on, the faster and stronger Moab class balloons become. I think even if, like, they sent a bad balloon right now, even a fortified bad balloon, which, like, if we had to deal with a fortified bad balloon at round, you know, 300, we'd lose, right? There'd be no way we could beat that. But having to go against a fortified bad balloon now, I think that would be easy peasy lemon mix squeezy, right? That would be super easy. Okay, guys, round 60. Wait, round 59. So round 60 is normally... Okay, guys, let's see. Let's... I'm selling everything. So round 60 is normally one BFB. Is this? That was easy. So guys, we popped 920,000 balloons, and then we had to go up against 1,100 Moads. That was absolutely insane. But I did have to use three cash drops, and I think I had to restart like two or three times to make that work. So that wasn't entirely easy in the beginning, but after we got that, it was smooth sailing, guys. If you enjoyed, please hit that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications. You're all amazing, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for some more awesome content. Bye, guys!